Kent, everybody. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, uh, and I hate to stop the show like this. When, when I'm introduced, what I'm accustomed to is what I'd call an outburst of applause. <laughs> what I heard is fine for most people, right? Most comics, they'll accept that. What I'd like to do is do it again. Drew, if you'll come right back up. When, he's, when he introduces me, what I'd love to get out of you guys is just really an outburst. Do you know, does that, is that visual enough? For, like an outburst of applause, right? So uh, Drew, come on back up, we'll do this. On, just on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Pat Kent. Guys, my name's Pat Kent. <laughs> so happy to have you here. I wrestled in high school. They had a, they had a nickname for me uh, over there, the wrestlers. They called me Fat Cunt. Yeah. It's humor. Uh, wrestlers can be pretty witty, so I'll, I'll kind of explain to you guys. I'll walk you through uh, the joke there. My name's Pat, and, uh, and, and you can't tell because I'm wearing muted colors, but I'm an obese person. Uh, and so that rhymes with fat, right? And of course, my last name's Kent, which we all know perfectly rhymes with the word cunt. <laughs> and it's interesting because it's not just ladies that don't like being called that, you know? I wasn't a fan. Uh, it was the most uncomfortable because my dad was my wrestling coach, you know? And he knows, and he has to hear it, you know, over and over. He was an amazing wrestler. He wrestled at my same high school. Uh, he was a national champion wrestler, and the wrestling room was... Uh, named after him like his name was painted on the room and all his awards were in the room and stuff and i uh lost a wrestling match to a kid with no arms <laughs> i was not good <laughs> i don't some of you might not be joking so much about that because you think i'm going to make fun of a physically handicapped person no he was victorious <laughs> <laughs> Good for him, right? Uh, do you have any idea how frustrating it is in the course of six minutes to not be winning versus someone in a sport where the central component is to grab things? It's very frustrating. And then you have to go face your father and he won't look at you in the eyes. And then the rest of your team calls you a fat cunt for four years? A fat cunt. It was really frustrating. Uh, I did see my dad's dick every day of high school. Is that, raise your hand if you're with me there. No? No one? Well, he's my wrestling coach and we'd practice and then afterwards we'd shower. And high school administrators think the best thing for young kids going through puberty is just to throw them in a pen. They'll all get wet. <laughs> And then we showered with our coach, which is also now looking back on it, pretty weird, <laughs> pretty weird. Um, the reason I mention that is because my dad has what doctors call a perfect dick. It's beautiful and don't make this, guys don't bring your weird sexuality to this. This is me observing the world, okay? My dad's dick was so beautiful, like it was just, do you know how, like, in pornography, dicks can be all over the place? Do you know what I mean? Weird lumpy shafts, huge veins, you know? If you've ever seen Backroom Casting Couch, you know what I'm talking about. Um, always gets one. A crank? Are you, t are you fucking kidding me with a shaft crank? No thanks, dude. My dad's dick was straight as an arrow. You know what I mean? Like Christian. Like a white dick, you know? Like a solid, like, like he, it's a Republican dick. Do you know what I mean? Like, not the crazy ones today, but the great ones that built this country, you know? <laughs> Conservative compassion, but not too much. Well, fuck y'all up. That's my dad's dick. Do you know what I mean? But, like, fiscally strong, my dad's dick. Like, as I looked at it, I was like, I can tell this guy can balance a budget. <laughs> If my dad's dick was an athlete, it would be Shaquille O'Neal in blue chips, like if he could speak properly. Do you know what I mean? Like perfect, could hit free throws. 
Just a perfect, beautiful, great American dick this thing had, you know? And I just would shower and I would stare at it and I would be like, mm. I would think, my mom's so lucky. <laughs> Do you know like the hours of pleasure that she must have received from this beautiful, I don't want to make it weird, guys. <laughs> but this is just what I thought, you know what I mean? And the reason I look at it so much, and I, I'm sorry for looking at you, but you're just, you look exactly like my dad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not at all. He's a, more of a man. Uh, type. Uh, like a, you know what I mean? You, you understand what I'm saying. Uh, I was, I had really bad self-esteem. I don't know if you guys heard that whole fat cunt stuff. Like that really takes its toll on a young lady. And, uh, and, uh, and he said like, hey, you're going to hit puberty and the same thing that happened to me is going to happen to you. All that fat's going to fall off. <laughs> and you're going to turn into a real man. And all I heard was, son, you're getting this dick one day. <laughs> and I was like, very excited. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, with all my confidence, and if I had a perfect dick, I would be a monster. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would not be wearing pants right now if I had my dick. That's how good it was. And it wouldn't even be harassment. You guys would be like, God damn, that's a good dick. 